So I'm building these corbels out of two by sixes that I ripped down to a five inch width. Then I'm using the miter saw just to cut them down to approximate length. And I end up using the table saw, tilting the blade at a 45 degree angle to actually cut my miters on the pieces. And then I go back to using two by six again, cut down to four inch width. And I'm using the four inch width to actually make the gussets. Those gussets will be centered within the five inch width of the outer parts of the corbels. Again, I'm using the miter saw just to cut them to approximate length, and then I've got the table saw blade again tilted back to 45 degree angle to cut the miters. After I kind of test to make sure everything's going to fit nicely, I step into my sanding process. Um, typically, as is the case here, I like to start out with 60 grit, then I'll go up to 120, and then 320, and then I usually finish most of my stuff with a hand sand at uh, 400 grit. I'll probably talk more about it in the future, maybe featured in a video, but uh, this was my first time using my Fight Tech dust mask, and really liked wearing it. Worked good even though I'm wearing safety glasses and headphones here, so looking forward to having that again on future builds. Uh, glad to finally be getting a dust mask. At this point I'm ready to do the glue up on the corbels just on the two leg pieces. So uh, what I've got is just two corner clamps. So I need to be getting some more of those, but right now I've just got two corner clamps. And I uh, put a little glue, and since it's an end grain glue up, I like to put it on and I let it sit there for a minute or two and then I uh, put a little bit more glue on, clamp them together, get it lined up right, secure the clamps and then I hit it with some brad nails. I uh, think uh, two in each direction, so four nails total on them plus the glue is what's holding them. Then I'm taking a little bit of sawdust there and, and making a little bit of filler. You can see on this corner right here I made a little bit of filler on my corners for some minor gaps I had for my miters. After that's had an opportunity to dry, uh, I go back over those corners where I used that filler, backed it down to 120 grit, and then I'll come back up to 320. Uh, once I'm finished, I'll move into hand sanding everything at 400 grit. You'll notice that the braces uh, aren't getting attached to the corbels at this point, to the two leg pieces. So the way I'm making these is I'm just going to like you see here, I got the two angle pieces uh, nailed and glued together. I'm going to stain it all. Uh, this is hickory gel stain from Minwax. I'm going to stain all the pieces. Then I'll mount the two legs. Once I've got those uh, screwed into uh, studs or framing in the house, uh, then I'm going to take some finished nails and actually just kind of superficially fix those brace pieces onto the two legs. So they're not really uh, in tight and they're not bearing any weight or anything. They're just kind of being mounted in. The actual corbels mounted uh, through some screws into the studs and the brace pieces are tacked in with finish nails and they're actually covering those screws up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and build. If you'd like to see future projects I'll be working on be sure and give us a like and subscribe.